What's up guys, this episode we're diving into the solid design principles. This will be part one, and I wanna talk about the solid design principles within the context of rails. So a lot of people have very trivial examples, um, and they're just about Ruby stuff, and I wanted to talk about this in Rails, so you can think about how you could actually apply this to your applications. So I wanna give you real world examples, and so we're gonna be pulling these ideas for the examples from another app that I'm building called Hatchbox.io. If you aren't familiar with it, it's ironically uh, kinda like Heroku. You can have it configure your own servers, and it will allow you to deploy Rails, Sinatra, Hanami apps to your own servers really, really easily. And so I've been building that over the last year, and it's a very complicated application, as you might expect. We have to configure servers, we have to do SSH stuff, we have to set up Postgres, MySQL, MongoDB, Elasticsearch, Sidekick, Nginx, we have to do SSL. All of that stuff is very complicated, and you don't wanna put that really in your models or your controllers, so what do you do with it all? And that is what we're gonna kind of be exploring and how you can use the solid design principles to make that stuff more manageable in your applications, more extensible so you can add new features into it really easily. So that's what we're gonna be diving into. And we're gonna start off in this episode with the single responsibility principle. So that basically says here at the top, every module or class should have responsibility over a single part of the functionality and that responsibility should be entirely encapsulated. So what it really means is you need a class or a module to capture one feature and then that should be entirely contained inside of that class or module. So what we've got here is an example of what you might expect a model to look like at the beginning of development of Hatchbox. And this model has four responsibilities right now at least. 